All right, what's up everyone? Duquesne23 here. In today's video, we're gonna be going over a tutorial here in Core and how to make the grass form with the terrain and actually the grass stop on a certain steepness of the terrain, just like here in my Hero's Journey map. Uh, now, I will be having other, you know, terrain tutorials on how to build beautiful terrain and more realistic looking terrain and things like that. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but for right now, we're just going to be going over grass, making it look realistic looking and how to stop it on, on a certain edge and also how to make the grass, of course, conform to the terrain itself on here. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in to the editor. If you have not played Core, there will be a download link below in the description. Be sure to click on that, sign up for Core, play it. It's a free to play game. You can check out all these amazing games that people have made on Core, you know, and stuff. There's so many different games on here and there's so many great ones. Uh, so be sure to check out the link down below in the description. Also subscribe for more Core content. Uh, but basically what you're gonna be doing, going over to create, now you can create a new project here. You could go through a gameplay framework if you're creating a project and you know what you want it to be. This is a third person dungeon crawler deathmatch. These are all just frameworks that have all the basic things that you need uh, in your game from the start. If you want to do things like gun game or battle royale, there's different first person projects here. There's top down projects all right here, but uh, we're not going to go ahead and do that. We're going to start with an empty project and I'm going to call this one grass because this is the tutorial for creating certain types of grass. Now, what we're gonna be doing is real quick is let's generate a new terrain. Let's go ahead and call this one ravines. We don't need it to be that big because we're not gonna be really, this isn't for an actual game. So here's ravines. This is very interesting looking, nice. Okay, let's go ahead and delete that. And here we go. So let's go ahead and go over to paint. Let's create a new material. It automatically slaps on the material just like this uh, for your ravines. Just And of course, you can adjust this out however you want. But that's not going to be this tutorial. First, let's go over to fo foliage and let's add some grass in here. Here we go. Let's add some grass short in here. Now, if you take a look, the grass short, whenever you first spawn it, is very sporadic very spaced out and that is not currently what we want now what you do to change that is you go to the distance between inst instances right here and you're going to be clicking on this and you could change it i personally change it to one now of course the, depending on what game you have how large your game is uh, how many things you have in your game you may need to decrease this you know to like three or something so it's less you know packed with things and so that way you know it doesn't cause too much of a performance impact on your game itself it just depends on what game it is but first we're going to go ahead and change it to one because it looks better it looks more like actual grass now the biggest problem about this so far if you take a look first we got grass going on like the the cliff sides right here and then also the grass on the cliff side like look at all this look at all this grass right here Look how it's just coming off horizontally off of this terrain. It's not conforming to the terrain right here. And the thing that you're gonna wanna do uh, to be able to get it to where it's actually gonna conform to the terrain instead of coming straight off of it horizontally is you wanna come over here to the rotation alignment. This rotation alignment right here, you click on that, you change it to align to surface and boom, right there, it automatically aligns to the surface of the terrain and now your grass looks a whole lot more realistic and it's not just floating in midair. Uh, so that is really good to have. Now, the biggest problem also what we currently have and what you may have on your you know game if you're playing is look at this. The, this grass is on the side of the cliff. Now, you can go over to paint and click this button right here and remove this individually yourself. You could go like that and see how it just remove the grass from there. You could do that, but that would take some time, especially if you have a lot of stuff here and you know, you just have to go through and you have to like remove it off of this rock and just all sorts of stuff you have to remove off. So the best way to really uh, fix this issue is going over to your grass and changing the ground slope angle here. Right now it's at 90 degrees. That means if there's a wall that's 90 degrees right here, it will pretty much or less than 90 degrees it will grass will be on the wall so you want to change this let's just say 45 degrees and see what it looks like right here so that is what the grass looks like on 45 degree angles you know which 
is perfect. That's exactly what we want. It's no longer on this rock face here. It's, you know, just on this on the slopes. Now, if you want it a little bit steeper, I guess, uh, because there is some angles right here that's not, you can always increase it. So let's say 55 degrees. Where does that show up? That still shows up really well. It looks great, at least down here. Now, it may not look as good in some other parts, but that's where you would come over here to the paint and select this and on those few parts you can erase uh, whichever foliage you actually want to erase. But this looks fantastic. It's right up against kind of where the green is there and it looks really good. So that is pretty much it for this tutorial. I just want to explain how to make the grass look a little bit more realistic. Now, if you wanted to, you can even go in and change the scale. And so you can have it a uniform scale of 1, 1, or you can have it a 1, 1 1.2. And it'll change the grass where it's just randomly, some of them are a little bit higher. Or you can go in and add in here, you know, the tall grass. And you could throw in some tall grass periodically. You can see them like there's one there, there, there. Uh, periodically in there, but you can also change it to where it is set up, let's say every six meters. So it's a little bit thicker. You know, you can see it patched around everywhere. Uh, but the problem is you got to remember the tall grass is also set defaultly to the align to terrain up. Let's go to align to surface. So that's why it's actually smooth up against it. And just like what the grass short is at a 55 degrees, let's go ahead and change the tall grass to the same thing, 55 degrees. And that means the tall grass won't be on this cliff side right here. It basically is perfectly lined up. So that way, whenever you spawn in and uh, you, of course, put your spawn in a better spot than what it defaultly was right there. But yeah, so that way everything looks pretty good. You have periodically some tall grass here because let's face it, whenever you're out in the wilderness, it's not all going to be perfectly short cut grass. There's going to be, you know, tall grass periodically everywhere. You know, it's going to be different varying heights and sizes of grass. So that's why you kind of want to throw that in there to make it look a little bit better and a little more reali realistic. So that will be it for this video. Everyone, thank you so much for coming out uh, here. If you want to be able to see more core content, be sure to subscribe and like this video. Leave a comment down below on what tutorial that you would like to see. Now, I mainly do a lot of aesthetic things and stuff. I'm not very good at things like scripting or coding in core. That I actually pull from some other people, from some of my friends to be able to get all the coding and everything in here. But I am fairly good, I would say, at doing aesthetic pieces and beautiful landscapes and stuff like that. So if there's something related to that that you want to see, be sure to leave a comment down below. I definitely plan on doing on how to build some nice, beautiful landscapes and a beginner's guide on just starting out and you know building something so you're not just having some plain looking landscape you can actually have something that looks pretty good so again thank you everyone for coming out be sure to click the link down below if you have not played core it does support me and i would appreciate it and you know you can sign up for core and just start playing and i will see y'all in the next video